And when you are starting out, it's really overwhelming. There's so much information just like throwing at your face. And um, it's normal to feel overwhelmed, but that's okay. Welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. So I hope that you enjoy this kind of like romantic theme before a Valentine's Day. My name is Victoria and I hope that you'll enjoy my content. If you do, maybe consider subscribing, hit the notification button. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how to understand the code base when you're just starting out as a new software engineer. Recently, I just started my new software engineering job and it's definitely, there's a lot of learning curve the first tips that I wanted to give you is to understand the environment so the first week first thing after you getting your laptop I would highly recommend to download your favorite text editor the terminal that you're familiar with and the reason for that is you wanted to set up the environment as quick and as fast as possible so then you can quickly spin up the server to be able to actually see what's going on in the code base. Second tip is you want to understand the build process. Now, it's really important to understand what is the final result of the build and also how to deploy to production because every single company has a different build process. It's really hard to understand that like right away at your first week when you're just starting out to understand how to actually push to production, but that would give you more control and feeling more calm as you go deeper and deeper in understanding about the code base. The third important tips that I would recommend is understand your neighbors. Not the neighbors that are living right next to you, but the neighbors of your project. So in a large application, usually there are a lot of other dependencies. So you want to learn how your app interacts with other apps. One of the quickest tips that I use like being smart is actually reaching out to someone who is currently working on that project and ask them to give you a personal architectural overview for that particular project. The idea is you want to talk to someone who's actually currently working at that project and how that project is interacting with your application. So now once you spin up your environment, you understand the build process a little bit, you understand your neighbors a little bit, you want to get your hands dirty as soon as possible. You want to start looking at the project and wanted to set breakpoints and start debugging. Try to, under try to understand how it's built. Ask when you're stuck. I'm not saying like you're going to ask like right away once as soon as you're stuck, you're like, you know what, that's it for me. I'm gonna ask people for help all the time. You wanna set yourself a 15 minutes rule, which means um, within the 15 minutes, if you can't figure it out on your own, it's probably better to ask someone else. Write down your debugging process, write down the things you already tried. Let that person understand that you're not wasting their time, you really just got stuck. Number five is connect with people around you. It's so important to make connections and work in the team. Great software doesn't build with one person, it's a teamwork. I was set like one-on-one -on -one with different people at different times at my first or second week when I started as a software engineer. That really gave me a chance to get to really know them better as a person, as a coworker. And one of the reasons why it's so important to start networking with your coworkers is because when you're stuck on something or when you have a question in particular about the code base, it will help you so much if you feel more comfortable with your coworker. You can always reach out. You can feel more comfortable that you can talk to them. About. And it's just the sooner that you're making that connection, making that first step with someone, the sooner that you're going to feel comfortable and you're going to feel more involved into the team. Those are the tips that I've learned in the past that helped me so much to quickly understand the code base at work and really help me to make connections with my coworkers and be comfortable in the team. If you find this really helpful, give me a thumbs up, share this video with someone, and don't forget, if you want to subscribe, please do. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. I hope that I'm being helpful. I hope that you enjoy this like beautiful background. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm trying to make it really romantic. I'm really liking this background color for now. We are going to talk soon. Bye.